Okay. So this was Upward 1. This is the first half of Upward of the Grand Finals. So let's see, it looks like Irene's on defense first. So we're going to be starting out straight off with K and D on offense. And for the next about minute and a half, there's really nothing to talk about. Um, positioning is what I, I, I could talk about. I could show you what Irene's um, positioning is. Um, on offense, there's really just going to be the standard sack wave and then something will go out. So Jared's putting out crit stickies in the standard spots. Um, crits is usually used on defense because um, it will it allows the demo to use more traps um, because traditionally um, the way traps work for demos you usually put four sticks in a spot and that limits the amount of traps the amount of lethal traps you have to two whereas if you go crits you can now have eight lethal traps because the stickies will do like about depending where you are at least 200 damage so on a lot of light classes it'll kill them um, for the rest of the positioning um, you see Banny ran Sky back to spawn so that they could have Uber, and they see they Ner Sky got here with 15 seconds left, so they had Uber with still a ton of ton of time to spare. So usually, if you're a scout, you like to allow your med to run back to spawn so that Uber gets back to the to the first faster. So Jared's playing a bit aggressive here. Um, Jacob goes down, or Spy goes down immediately, which is good for defense. And um, we should be seeing um, a bit of a sack soon. Usually, you'd want the Spy to live so that he could do some poor coordination. Um, you see Banny and Habib playing really aggressive top left. You usually see the soldier top left, and this guy will be on the right side, but. Um, that's, it doesn't really matter because Spy Scout can go anywhere he wants, so Sniper, space goes on, goes on the right side, so it looks like Eddie's going to start bombing, so I think, I'm already in the air actually, I bombed in, I get the gun, um, the Scout goes down, I'm still trying to just spam, I get the dispenser which is good, so I got, um, I got all three, what are these, uh, okay, I got all three, um, buildables, which is good, especially with the dispenser because that leaves, um, Sky open, which means it more susceptible to spam, um, but, that psych wave is okay. We didn't get the forest, but after the after uh, one psych wave, you pretty much on upward. You want to try to get a decent exchange as fast as possible because first is really unreliable to hold on defense because of how bad the silent is. If if the offense sniper gets their sniper up here, so it uh, looks like I want to take an exchange in main. Playing a bit alone and aggressive right here than it, I should be, but Mercy gets ticked off, so we have to use the Uber exchange comes out. Um, they counter, so we're gonna take we want. one thing that we tried is we're gonna enter Uber to the right side. Um, Engie goes down, but that's just car pusher. Heavy goes down as well. So I'm kind of uh, fighting the gun alone. The gun goes down. So now the gun's down, but we're three down, which means our car pushers are weak. So Jared's going to get aggressive and kills our last car pusher, which is Eric. And this is going to be a good defense coming out from Irene because they got the picks and they played the post well. The issue with that is we had um, too many people die during the Uber. We should have had people play more passive during the Uber. I died aboard there. Um, I should have just let them put backed up. Now board's going off. But. Big, big issue with that Uber is that I think we had two or three players down like during the Uber, and they just those players just had to play passive and wait for the post. So now we're gonna reset. Uber's gonna be out even again, so there really, there really was no time for us to do a sack. Um, me and Eric are playing aggressive because they're giving us a lot of space in main, so I really want to peek this on the medic. Another one of our car pushers goes down, but it's only one. Doesn't matter. Our faint set, anyways. Jacob goes down as well, which kind of hinders things because it, it misses coordination. I get really weak, so that's going to hinder me as well. So now we have to fight a bit of a stalemate. But once Boar goes down, that kind of initializes the push. Uber's got to exchange. It's a solo on Jarrett, so they're going to have a better Uber. So I back up faster. And then now that their sniper is dead, this is where they have to back up because this is an unreliable hold at this point. So now they need to be running. So the heavy goes on as well. Once your sniper's dead, they just gotta leave the best possible. They're staying in a bit too long. Sky's just staying in too long. Um, Sky's gonna get taken down. I think, yeah, I kill Sky there. If you see, Sky kinda hesitated. Um, as soon as your sniper dies, as soon as you get like any crucial picks like from the defense side, you wanna leave as fast as possible, because you know the offense sniper is gonna be sitting up there hard scoping. So if you see, Sky hesitated for like like at least seven seconds, and that's what caused her to die there. So now Nursi has a 50% uber advantage, and... Um, if their sniper is goes, if their sniper is still alive, then we probably could have gone tunnel. But because Jacob does get bore there, we are able to just roll up across the hill with 70% add. So the biggest thing here is from an offense perspective is if you have any sort of add, all of your players want to live, and that's only added to the fact that Fate and Banny go down, which helps us with our picks. So we still have about a 60% advantage uh, as long as all of your players live before a push. It makes a push really good. Habib does go for a bomb that gets taken down. So now we have Uber, and I want to be peeking this. And because we have good card time, we might be able to, we're able to dry it. Um, we really didn't need to use there. Um, 
If I, if, if either Jacob gave me more information, or if I analyzed the information better, or if I just saw that they're all gone, there was really no use to, no use to like use there. We get the cap nevertheless, but now we have a bit of a disadd, and that's gonna stop some of our time for for third. Not a ton because the cart's so long that you have a lot of time to sack and build that Uber back up, but you know, and anything, any any little thing helps. So I think I was about to jump there, but the sniper's gonna headshot me, so that's gonna counter that sack. So now we're just second the cart. Um, the sniper is really aggressive. Whenever snipers get over here in this tracks, I, I don't like it because it's really easy to take them out. They're usually secluded. So Jacob sees that Sky is getting aggressive to heal Boar. Tries to go for a play on her. Unfortunately, does get taken down. Um, but the dis we still have a diss sad here. So ideally, with this amount of diss sad and this, this amount of cart time to go from an offense perspective, you'd like um, the offense to be doing some sort of sack with your spy because that's the best thing you do want to do to counter this gun. Um, the positioning from Irene is pretty standard here. Space Ghost dies, which is going to allow Boar to play really aggressive. So now, from an offense perspective, you're going you're to want us to see more passive because we have no sniper. Um, but the rest of the defense positioning is pretty standard. Carson, like their heavies up in Bend. Med, Med's playing a bit aggressive. You see Sky, a medic, play really deep in house here or like next to the suspensor. But um, I think that's the only stipulation to their hold. Everything else is pretty standard. Demo and, and uh, Billy Soros playing around the corner. So now that the Ubers are even, um, we could probably just take an exchange here. We want to get our players in position because they are two down. It looks like Jacob dies again, so it's it's really up to me if I want to be having an exchange or not based off Jacob down. They were two down, so I think that's what prompted the push. I'm going to start stemming out Bucket before we go just to clear that out. We get forced really early, but it, um, let's see. Billy Source denies the Uber, and they haven't even used it. So, the, I think the biggest issue why this Uber failed is I either didn't jump in with it, or that we got forced really early. Knowing that we got forced really early, I probably should have just jumped in because I had to get that force in order for us to have some sort of advantage. Um, the only thing that really comes out of this Uber is that we have a bit of aggressive positioning, and we got the the cart up the first ramp, but you shouldn't really being used, you don't use an entire Uber just for that. Um, so now they still have a 50% advantage, and that's, that would be an appropriate time for sex. Um, we have our car pushers, still getting a cap time, Jared's getting distracted, gonna back up. Bobby and Etty are getting a bit aggressive, gonna go for a bomb, it's a bit of a distraction. We almost, that's gonna allow us to get a ton of time on the on the cap here, but does it get up? Okay, yes, it does get up the second ramp. So second ramp's really good. Uh, the Uber actually gets used out from red because of the second cap, and that's really good. So n with this amount of, with, with this 90% add from offense, you want all of your players to be living right now. Because as, as long as none of you die, you can all just ball up and cyber going down boar in that instance on defense only adds to that so right now i would probably want jacob i would probably want demento and scratchy to wait because they see they're gonna, they're gonna take him down and now the this push fails so much because i think i got dropped in the super but we were even if if i didn't get dropped we were already only six up for this push and we might have been able to get it up the cart but we were four down in the midst of that uber and again we're just dropping too many plays during the uber we just need people to live for the post not necessarily during the uber um, so that's why that uber advantage filled again. So this is going to give the advantage back to the to Irene. Um, and I, it looks like Nursey died in the on pain train. Yeah, Nursey died to, um, I think it was faint. So that's going to be a full ad for Sky. And if there's any time for Sykes, it'd be now. Um, full ad. Um, cards up the second ramp. that's ticked off. So I think Jared, I mean not Jared, uh, Jacob's going to want to reset it. But now would be a very appropriate time for Sykes. We're going to take him down by Stasis again. That's going to make my job a bit harder because I'm going to be able to play more aggressive. Jacob's gonna get bored, that's really good. Not gonna reset the cart though. Now now our players are resetting the cart. Um, I'm not bombing, I think we're I think I called to play cart instead of bombing. Um We actually did get it up, so it that call was a 50-50. It was like ideally you really like normally that push wouldn't work. Um if you ball that up, Jarrett should have been getting tanked more. He wasn't, and we're gonna get the cap off it. So that call in this match was good, but if Jarrett would have been getting tanked more, then that wouldn't have been as good because we would have just all died at the cart because we would have no, no, no beam and we would have had a disad. But Sky doesn't use there, um, so it's not a, not the best time. It's actually a really slow time on third, but this is still doable to get about an eight minute, maybe nine minute, nine and a half minute late latest um, time. So right here we're taking a really long time on under, and that's because I'm trying to get Eddie during this Uber because I'd like Eddie to do some sort of either spam or bomb with this. And it's taking him a really long time, so. Looks like he does get pack, and he's gonna end up here. So now, that this was actually a really bad at mistake because um, I don't think I had any comms on where Etni was, so I couldn't make I couldn't make judgments on either if we're gonna go fast enough or not. If I knew Etni was far away, I would have just gone. But 
now that Eddie's here, um, I'm gonna start picking this aggressively. I just want to get some spam and try to get some scouting before we use. So the use comes in. Um, Carson gets taken down, and I notice Bobby is or Car or Kreznik is trapped. So I'm gonna get out of the Uber. I'm gonna regress, and now the positioning from Irene is really bad. They're all trapped here. So I'm gonna do some spam and try to trap them in. Sky taking damage, and if we had anyone in Spiral, they would have been able to do uh, sandwich them. Um, that's not gonna happen, but Eric will just run straight in front of him. Um, here's Scratch with the sand, it's gonna kill Jarrett, and Sky should go down as well. So now that it's four down, and we have a ton of time on the cart, five down, only four from Irene. Bobby's gonna die, and Bubbliv's gonna die. So, the the biggest issue with this offense is ZC. Normally we should have won this, but the spawns came in a bit faster from Irene, and the biggest reason why this last push failed is it was, it was in such good hands for us, but the reason this push failed is because a nurse gets taken down to ban is gonna add to I'll explain that a little bit. The reason this push failed is because we our players went to the cart too fast. They were four down, but their heavy and their pirate was still alive. And those those classes are really good at dying in the cart because of the uh, because of the score trap because heavy can sit in the little gay spot. So if they would have just slowed down, we probably would have gotten to the spawns faster. I think we were just a bit too hasty because it was such a slow third cap. We were just in desperate need for a, a decently fast last cap to equalize that out, but. Here, our nurse dies. That's gonna put Uber's back up at about even. We're trying to push through Spiral. Um, this, you, I would, again, I would, you should never really take Uber through Spiral because exactly where Boar is. Boar is able to just snipe us for free because if we're going Spiral, that adds two more sight lines instead of just one. Um, in every instance you can, go underneath. Don't go Spiral unless your sniper is dead. Sniper going down there. That's, that's good. They're also four down, so. Jacob saps the gun. I'm gonna spam it during the meantime. So now that's three down. They do have an ad. Nursing went down during that though. So that's gonna kinda know if I are pushed because Carson's still alive, so. Um if we had a player to stay with Nursey, that would have helped a lot, but I don't I don't remember why I didn't see where Nursey was. But the positioning from Irene is perfectly countering it right now. Carson in the gay spot is really good because our even like as you saw when we even when the first push Carson and their pyre and Billy Source are still able to salvage it because of how powerful that spot is. And his medic knows that and he's gonna get buffed back up and under. So now the um, a large Uber advantage goes back in favor of Sky. So looks like they get forced. I think. Oh no, Sky got uh, piped or directed. So that's gonna make her force. Um, so that's good. If I look at let's look at the positioning of Irene. Um, positioning of Irene is um, pretty perfect and standard. This is how you should have your upper. Your demo would go in between, and your soldier watching your meds over in this little connector area, and your heavy, your heavy is watching the main area. This is how it should be played. If we look at our positioning, looks like we're, we're really slow. Are we underneath yet? Okay, we are underneath. We're, we're, we're okay. Then on pace. So if Fang goes down. That means we can be we can be in under and at least have a chance of not being spotted. Uh, Scout goes down. So now that they they were two down, that kind of got I I got a bit too antsy and I kind of fed into Jaren. So that was an issue there. Um, I the call was like still take the Uber on Obliv because if you notice, um, Sky dropped to Eddie. So uh, Uber on a solo pyro there was okay because a pyro and upper is really good if it's just WM winning. Um, but Obliv got dropped during the Uber, which was unfortunate. But um, there's still only two up. So as, if, as long as they all play the cart together, as like so it looks like they're all jumping down. Yes, as focus calls for that, and now they're only one up. So this should be the end of the round. That's a full wipe. And um, regardless, even despite Obliv and I dying on that like third last push, um, it was still okay because a lot of red was dead anyways. And as you see, they all jumped down and just did focus fire on the cart so everything died. That's how it should be done, except that was like the third time pushing it, not the first time. Um, positioning from Irene um, on defense was... was um, like, perfect. They, they played it as you should. There's nothing really super aggressive or super passive. Um, only really the only really thing that I noticed for defense positioning was just that Sky was being a bit too aggressive at times. Um, but I think it, she was well protected by Billy and Jarrett. So that's the first half. Twelve minutes. Not this very. That's about about 150 percent of the time that you'd like. You usually want about at least an eight minute time because that's standard. Um, so twelve minutes is not really anything to be um, to be happy of. But um, because of how, how, how monstrous third and last are, um, no time is really impossible to defend. Upwards a really, a really chunky map. So it looks like the sacks will come up. I'm gonna go into sky view. Um, all the positioning is pretty standard. It's basically kind of aggressive. He kind of in the open on the left side, but. Alright, 
so to start off, Jarrett, I'm not going for Psyche, he's just going to get aggressive on the main, and he's not getting contested yet. Um, but that's not that's going to be one less sack than what we'd usually see, like, being the standard of a soldier demo on the Spy. So here's the sack, Jarrett just going to be butting across, going to get taken down, the Spy's going to get found out as well. So that's kind of their semi sack waves kind of taken down. So now the next thing we should be seeing from the offense is the Uber. And with Boar taking out a Bliv, a, bl a Pyro pick on first is really good because that means um, the meta is you have your Pyro stop their combo in this corner. And that's going to be really good if they can react fast enough because our Telly is still up. So if they're going to react, they should have re reacted in the last three seconds. But a Bliv's going to be up in the next five seconds and he's going to be here. So that Pyro pick's going to kind of get nullified. So now it's just kind of just killing Carpo here. So the Uber's going to come in through main. Um, we're going to have a better Uber by about two seconds. Habib's going to take him down, so that's good for our post. And now we just want to get aggressive, because we, we have a better Uber, and we know that. So I'm going to back up. The Uber's going to fade. And now they're ending their Uber at a really gr aggressive position. But because our engineer's down and we're playing really passive, um, that's going to allow them to take a lot of this this ground. So we under we noticed that we're really passive. Um, we were about to back up, but with their with Jarrett and Carson going out, which is a combo for Irene, that's going to prompt us to stay in. Um, and we can only really stay in if all of them die, and that's what's happening here. Everyone from Irene's getting taken down, and we'll be able to hold first for just a little bit longer. Uwe's will still be even, but as long as everyone lives from KND, um, this should be good. So the main saving grace there is we would have left if it wasn't for Demento getting two kills on their combo. Um, so a banner coming out. Now we can fight this a bit more really aggressively, but looks like we decide to leave with this battalions, because well, look, as you notice, we're all weak. Um, and the battalions there allows us to escape and not have to use or get body blocks because I'm pretty sure it gets a blo blocks a lot of headshots. But um, this would have been a really good uh, upper hold. Um, but I think Habib, you know, it was Banny. Banny came in through the tunnel and two shot Nursey. And Nursey was at 11 HP, so she had to use. Um, so this would have been really bad for us. But a Obliv went through up here, jumped down, and got the kill on the sky with a crit flare combo, which is really good. So. Uh, defensively, you might want to see us a bit, be a bit more passive because we were two down, but because their med just died and they had just bled players and we were pretty healthy, playing aggressive in the normal position was fine for us there. And as you notice, like, there's four players from Irene dying there because we kind of catch them off with our aggressiveness, and that was just good positioning from our part. So the biggest thing you'd want to see from an offense here from Irene is um, you can either do a sack or just play around your sniper. Um, heavy goes down in tunnel, so that'll buy us some time in tunnel. Um, but they have about a 60% decide, so you can see either a sack or just their combo botting across to try to get spam because this is a really good spam angle. I don't remember what happened here, but I think some sort of instantaneous or, or like s s instantaneous aggression should happen. And so Space goes and Bobby dies, and that's exactly what Irene needed. They needed those picks. So with Cyber dying um, defensively, your team can just go across because now you can get a lot of spam angle into the little pocket. Um, this would have been really, this would have been an even better push than it already is um, if Sky didn't die. And we have a full loop right here, but um, the biggest issue with this is we were really late to use. We probably should have used by the time the cart got up right here. Um, we did use anyways, and so Jared gets taken down, which is good. Ubers will still be about even. So the biggest reason why this fails is because Heavy doesn't get called enough, or he just doesn't get taken down enough enough. Right. And I think I died to Carson. No, we decided to back up. Um, we, I think Edney, uh, we should have just lived more there. Um, Edney and Bobby died. I don't remember what to, but because we were four down, um, even though we had a pretty decent Uber, they're still going to manage to get the cap off. I don't remember what Edney and Bobby died to, but you want to keep as many players up defensively as possible. That's the this biggest thing um, in, on anything. If you're defending coffee, if you're defending in any any scenario ever, you just want to be living. And to add insult to injury, Nurse is going to take it down to faint, which means Sky is going to have about a 70%, like about a, actually a full advantage. So you'll notice that our positioning is really, really passive here because we all just need to live right now. If we can get any sort of play to get a force or a drop on a Sky, that's what we need to have some sort of third hold right now. So you can see it's playing a bit more passive. Faint's going to get taken down. Um, that's going to remove at least the chance for a Spy. So I'm going to start focusing cart. Um, you usually want your demo to start focusing cart once it gets up to this plaque. Borg getting taken down is really good, which means I guess, as you see, as soon as Borg got taken down, the, um, the defensive demo should be going across because he he's allowed to get a ton of free space. Um, the biggest issue with, with me getting aggressive, though, is that I, I I overrid the fact that they hit Uberad over the fact that Borg died. So you saw me botting across, but because I was so anxious to get to kill the cart, the Uber came in and killed me. 
So that's something to keep in mind. And because we're, what, five, six down right now, that's going to allow them to get this car for absolutely free. Your demo your demo dying on third is one of is, is debatably even worse than your sniper dying on third just because of your demo is the only one who can have arcs that can sick, that can reach the players on the cart. Your soldier doesn't have that privilege with his rockets. So now we're having tasks with have a six and a half minute hold. Um, we do have a bit of an ad, which means we can't hold this, but we don't have our heavy or pyro up here because they did die. So... Angie's gonna take him down. Um, Habib's gonna take him down. That's good. That's gonna leave some pressure from Elisa Soldier Bomb. Um, Faint get it. He's gonna get the demo here. And Faint getting the demo on defense is a, a really good pick because the demo is demo and Cyper are amazing on this last because of the positioning they can all make. Cyper can play super back and just watch main, and demo can watch and trap every single little corridor here. So with me going down, that's gonna allow them to get free space because they weren't called or they, and they weren't pressured. Um, that's going to be an uber exchange. We do have the better uber by a little bit. Um, I try to jump in, but there is a random sticky on the floor, so that, that killed me, so that's going to be even better for their post. So normally, if they were, if Jarrett wasn't down, they would start to regress because there was no demo, but because Jarrett and uh, Bandy get taken down, we, did, we didn't see much of a post coming out from Irene. So Candy is going to have was going to come back with this normal repositioning on upper. This is about the standard hold. The um, only weird thing right now is that they're getting a lot of time for free, but that's going to get taken down by me. So now we, while we just want to see a reset from KD, this is the normal positioning. Like we, it's the exact same thing we saw on Irene, um, where we saw Ed, the soldier on up top and demo in between. But what the reason this uh, if this uh, held this hold like failed is because Banny ran in for through spiral and he saw Eddie, and Eddie wasn't able to win that DM fight. And since because we were all fixated on the soldier, I think a, I don't know if a blue was dead. It was a blue dead. Uh, no, Obliv was with us because he just went up in our spawners. The soldier came through Harry Potter, and I think Obliv was focused on the scout, the soldier, and the soldier was able to get a ton of kills on us. So because we were so many, because of that, like, really good flank play, um, we're going to lose this round. Um, I think we're trying to go for a little bit of salvage plays, but we're going to end up just overextending for it anyways, because we kind of had to. So that's going to be this round in about eight minutes for Irene. So, biggest issues, um, was... Offense, um, we took too long to like regroup, and we allowed like scenes to happen, like the like the flank or Banny or Habib just coming in for absolutely free. And I think offense was the bigger issue than defense. Defense the will on last. Um, Obliv was not watching behind. I'm not gonna solo on Obliv. It should be Obliv or Bobby or just someone to be turning around. But um, as demo, you go in between main and spiral, and you default at spiral. So me and Eddie were doing it at the scout, and that soldier was able to get in behind and kill. I think like a 4K kill all of us from behind. So that was the main issue on defense, but offense, the main issue was third, where it took us, uh, what, seven and a half minutes to cap three points? And the main issue with that is that we just weren't running enough sacks, and we had a bunch of players die during the Uber. We saw that on the very beginning, where Kennedy tried to push um, on first. We had three players die in the middle of the Uber, and it was the same thing on the first or second push on the third, where we saw we was we, were, we used, and by the time we used the exact moment we used, it was already a 6v9, just because of the amount of players that died. And the main way you fix it is just have those players that would have died just back up and play for the post and live. So those are the main points you could probably take up for that. Um, we're gonna go back into we're gonna go into the second half because those are just the main primary points from the first half. If you have any questions, feel free to, to ask them because we're going into another setup. And for this setup, we're gonna see Candy starting on defense and Irene start on offense. So for positioning, um, I went over the positioning in the first. If you missed it, you can probably look at the VOD later on. Um, but positioning is gonna be about the same. Um, we may see a bit more aggression out of um, Irene because usually the team that wins might play a bit more aggressive because of their of their confidence in the DM capabilities. And Irene was really aggressive back in season 25 of, of the last season of UGC that was played. So that's that's kind of what we're expecting. You might see a bit of a more passive playstyle from K and D because if they expect a more aggressive um, like offense, they might try to bait it more. But that doesn't always work because if you give them too much space, then they can really abuse angles. So, um, same thing from last round, same setup we're seeing. Nothing r is really changing. Um, the only thing that was notable is that the that Space Ghost started on the top right of bats. Well, I don't know, let's see, where is he going to start at this time? He started the same area. So, Jarrett also didn't sack in the beginning. It was only Jarrett and Faint that kind of just bought it in. They didn't really do a sack. So, let's see what's going to happen this time. Positioning-wise, Space Ghost is really aggressive inside of a, of a choke. Um, that's really the only notable positioning. Everything else is pretty standard. Nurse is kind of in a in a choke, which can be countered by positioning your medic back here. 
Um, but she's just in the standard spot. The only disadvantage of that spot is that it can be it can be spammed out really easily. But sometimes the dispenser can block it up. If it's at this angle, your med can crash behind it, and she and they won't take the exact same damage. So we'll see. So Borg is taken out immediately from Space Ghost. Um, from a demo perspective, you see me playing a bit more aggressive because uh, with a sniper dying, I can have a lot more free space. Um, and I thought a bit more help from Eddie, but I because I had so much free space, I tried to just overextend onto Jarrett because I thought it was free. But Eddie wasn't able to do to help me there, which is which is fine. So I die for it. So I'm gonna have a bit of wait late spawn, but they had no real aggression off it because Boar is dead, so I should be able to get the, the spawn in. But I don't get that telly because they did take it on the telly, which is really good. So to add insult to injury, faint with spawn camping, and I'm on ZX8, so I wasn't able to see that. So that's gonna prompt the push down. Now that they have them down again, the Uber's gonna come out. Oblivion's gonna try to deny it, and even if Oblivion's able to deny it, um, it's not gonna really matter because even if uh, the rest of our players didn't die, I, there would have been no damage proposed. So with three players down and no damage proposed, we're gonna back up to upper here. Um, that was a really good. That that's exactly how they should have played it offensively. If you if the demo is locked out for 30 seconds, not in a fight, you should definitely be exchanging there. And because they scratchy and uh, space goes tighter in the Uber, they can roll just roll up into the hill because they have no pilots hiding or are gonna air blast you off the cliff. And there's no stuff that's hard scoping us. And the main reason you take hill on upward is, is if the sniper is dead. So Uber is gonna be about even. Um, the only issue with the second is now we're playing the bad second. There's a good second hold which is on the hill, and there's the bad second hold which is um, kind of on the platform. So boy's gonna get allowed to get in a really aggressive space. I'm gonna spot him, and space is gonna kill him. So now that the sniper's dead, I can play really wide here. Jared's gonna get headshot, so I'm gonna take him down as well. Now they're taking a lot of damage from the backup, so uh, it works inversely as well for defense. If so the sniper goes down from an offense perspective, you it allows all of your spam classes and players to be really wide and really aggressive. And we saw that by getting like two or three picks instantly. So we have one car pusher is dead. Uh, Pavey's gonna take him down. So with all these picks, um, the defense-wise, you should be able to allow to to re play re aggressively. Um, but the only way this was failed um, is the car someone is sitting up top, and he managed to kill both players of our combo. And with Eddie going down, that's only gonna further add insult to injury. And with an, with an even Uber. You're really not wanting to uh, take this exchange because you're going to be playing, again, a 6v9. So I think we should just be seeing, uh, ideally from from defense, you just want your defense to back up. Um, they do decide to use, um, I, looking back on this, this, is, this should not have really been played. This this should not have been done because we had we were still three down, our entire combo was down, and we decided to take an exchange, and we, when we took the exchange, we were actually four down. So it was a 5v9, and we weren't able to get the fours. Um, Sky used, after all, and that was kind of a misplay from offense. You saw that Sky was able to milk the entire Uber while our Uber came out because the candy Uber was really bad. So Sky really didn't need to use there. Um, we saw the same sort of use um, uh, that candy used the first one, and it was kind of just a misplay. There was really no reason to use. And it's not incredibly bad because you, there's the car chime is so long that you can get your Uber back. But Sky just I think kind of using there because um, I mean there I, I I don't know maybe justification. There was really no reason for Sky to use there um, from an offense perspective. But because there because we bled a ton during that Uber, I think we were six down at one point. That allows Board to get really aggressive on this track. And this is a really amazing sightline for your somebody to use offensively because you can see straight the way down to uh, main. But looks like we get their spawns back in time. Carson's gonna get in through Ben. He's taking out Eddie and Carson, which means now that two of our Ben players are dead, we're three down. We're gonna be losing control of this like primary A house. And you see Ablev try to fight. He should have died there um, because you would have seen their combo play a bit more aggressive. But he will take down Habib and escape. Um, but if you're heavy and, and, and soldier die, um, when their combo is this close, you're, you're gonna be losing control of this first house right here. And that's why we're playing really back near this choke and, and while we're playing near the spiral. So Ubers are even. Um, they're gonna use pretty fast. Um, taking that exchange was fine offensively because they they were sitting aggressively for the first like for for about 30 seconds straight. So taking this offensively was fine because you already close and you're already not gonna get denied. They dropped both teams were are down four, but the biggest the biggest way that uh, the, an offense would win this is if the demo died. And because I died on defense, no matter even if even even if both teams were 5v5, just because the demo is dead is gonna allow them to roll this um, third cap because demo is, is again one of the most important classes you can have on defense on third. Debatably even more than sniper because of, just because of how how amazing the demo is that just because of his arcs he can shoot the six and he'll hit everyone on the cart and that's just the most but it's your main player that can fight the cart. Your soldier doesn't have the privilege of being able to arc the ziggies that efficiently so um, looks like Nursey's gonna get forced. Uh, I think she got forced by let's say, Jarrett and Banny rushing up through main, and that's gonna allow them to get the force. And that would have been a really, really, really bad um, if it wasn't for Demento getting the pick onto uh, onto Sky. So 
Normally you'd see combos jump down here, but one of the strats um, I like to use is I try to stay in upper as much as possible. And because they were already four down and I knew Jarrett was weak, um, I, I, I just kited here because we're not in a sideline right here unless you go all the way back and we weren't. And we were able to stay in upper with about a 25% advantage because we kited that. So now we're going to be resetting an upper. Um, this is the standard hold. Have your medic and demo on this little platform on the intermediary. Heavy watching mains here. Soldier watching uh, spiral. So, and now we're kind of just at the, for the waiting game on the defense. Um, if we look at offense positioning, we should be the off, see the offense start walking under. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're actually pretty a good pace for it. And they're taking out a blip for it. Um, a, blip, a blip chaining for a feint. A blip, pyros are a really important class to be, um, to be alive for last. So, but we're going to take it by Space Coast. I think it will see the little shutter crack um, right here. But So that's that's kind of good. That means I can, I can peek these windows more aggressively at, from a devil perspective and spam the cart. But that's really the only pick that a sniper pick grants besides like a god shot. So they, their combo gets called coming in through main stairs. Jacob's able to sneak in and get the guy. But the feint also gets Bobby and Eddie. And because we're so many down, um, it was only me and Nursey. Habib's going to get the force. And now we're just trying to get as many picks as, picks as possible. We get Jordan for it. Carson's there. And... I, does he kill me? No, Carson does get taken down, so um, the big issue with that was the force, but because Sky did die to Demento, um, normally that would allow us to stay in upper because it would be an even uber, but we drop, what, five players there? But yeah, we were only four alive, and I wanted to stay right here as much as possible because I didn't expect so many people to die, but because we had a lot of people die from, I didn't really see exactly what from, I think it was just cleaning up kills, um, Boar was able to hard scope from Spiral, and like I said earlier, kiting here is okay, but kiting back here on the Cyber's alive is not good because he has a sightline. So Nurse Seed miraculously tried, but miraculously like left while she was like one HP and burning. But um, it's even, and the biggest thing here is now we have to set up for a passable, which is up top. And the biggest way to trigger this is Jarrett goes down there from space because that's a really good pick. So now I'm able to lock off these chokes without, having, without any contention from the enemy demo. And now that their their soldier and and demo is on a, is on a respawn wave, that means that the spam classes aren't going to be here for another six seconds. So our combo decides to jump down because now we can beat this aggressive without any spam. Jarrett just comes out down here and there. So that was really dangerous. Uh, we, we sh if, from a defense perspective, if you kill the demo, you want to be going underneath as fast as possible because you see Jarrett almost um, knocked our players off this little lip. And we do get forced. And you're seeing the biggest issue that we're having with all these Ubers is that we have so many people dying during the Uber. We got forced and four of our players instantly died. And because we have no combo and no demo to help spam the cart, um, they're going to be able to, to win this round. And at this point, these are just kind of useless frags. Um, we have I come in, um, but I'm gonna get Sab, and that's that Sab is the most important one he could have gotten there. So we only throw up just scattered spawns, and Carson be able to get this cap. Let's say eight minute time, which is an average time, um, but an average time at this level is something you, you'd like to see. So once again, what we saw is the biggest issue coming from K and D on defense was the fact that they had so many people trying to die to the Uber, and I think during like the, their Uber and. I think what the issue is is that the players from K and D are kind of getting clumped up at, at when they're when they're using, which makes it so that it's impossible from a medic perspective to flash everyone, because the only way Nurse would be able to flash everyone is if if she flashed every single person, the Uber would be gone instantaneously, and she can't do that. It's she's allowed to drop one or two players, but when there's that many players confined to one space, she had to she like four players just died because they're I think they were all clumped up on these staircases. So I think Candy's probably playing it actually a bit too clustered together and taking the same spam because you see every single time an Uber happens, no matter if it's on offense or defense, their players are just dying instantly every single time. It's always a 6v9, 5v9, or even or even less for the post. And a lot of times at this level of Hounder, you want to just be playing for the post because you can't really bank off your Uber getting a ton unless it's an advantage. So now we have Irene on defense. Um, everything's standard here except for Boar getting in a really aggressive spot, trying to peek it, gonna get a body shot on the Space Coast, which allows him to back up, but uh, because he got the body shot on the Space Coast, Boar is allowed to get a bit more time. He gets another headshot on the Pyro, I think, then he backs up. So we have a bit of a stalemate right here. We're just gonna be waiting for Sax. This is kind of just a dead time. So the Mento get taken down is a pretty um, decent pick because that means you're gonna have no spy coming in on the Psych Wave. And he's going to be jumping in. Um, I'm already in. Um, I don't end up getting the gun. I think I I think I tried to put like one sickie on boar. And um, because I, I tried to focus two different things at once, that doesn't allow me to get anything. Because if you scatter your focuses, you're not going to get anything. You're just going to put damage and they're going to live. There's always focus fire one thing. In that case, it should have focused the gun. But nothing came out from the sack. 
So the best thing we can do here is just everyone try to live and try to take this um, exchange. Cause the best thing you can do on again on first is just take the exchange because the posts for red are really inconsistent and they, they're going to be forced by having to fight a sightline and have to leave back up. So the Uber comes in at a decent time. The forest comes out actually pretty fast as well. And with Scout dying, we want no one else from the offense to die. Scratchy dying's okay. That's that's fine. Um, Eddie bombing there is a bit um, questionable. You fight from a soldier perspective. You want your soldier to kind of bomb in for the post when you know they'd be weak. But no matter, the, because there's still three down on defense, so now we should be seeing a bit of an aggressive coming out from a uh, candy. Eric goes down, which is going to kind of weaken the aggression. And once I go down, let's kind of kind of call it off, I think. Uh, the banner is going to come out. And with a banner with no spam classes, usually that would see your defense staying in. But because, again, just because of, just because of how inconsistent and hard it is to hold first for a post, um, even be, even with us being like two or three down with the demo down from offense, they're still going to be backing up. And that's the that was the correct play to do. As, as you see on the defense of this round, or not of this round, um, it was, it was a, I think we already passed it, but um, that's what KD should have done. But Sky had a bit of an advantage. It's not going to matter now. Billy Soros going down is really good because that means we can take space right here. And with Boar still alive, but we're kind of just, we're all what we're doing is we're all death billing at once, so it's making it so that he can't kill every single one of us at the same time. So Habib's going to go down. Bobby or Kresnik miraculously lives. So now we have position off to on the hill, and this is good for your demo because demo has really good spam on this hill. Boar's going to kind of take down Scratchers and Cart Pusher. The force is going to come out from Sky, but uh, look if you look at the left side, one, two, three, four players already down from the side of Candy, and I'm going to. Oh wait, we didn't even use. Where is Nursey? Okay. No. Okay. Um. <laughs> If if Nursey, I don't know, I didn't really see Nursey's position positioning, but uh, okay, yeah, I didn't see Nursey's positioning there. But if Nursey was closer, was, was close enough to me over here, we should have even if they were four down, we should have taken that exchange because they were already back up and we already had a full liver advantage. Nursey lived and managed to go all the way far back, but got took a hundred from Banny, and then by the time she got up here, she got directed by Habib, and then she was forced. So, really, there was there is no use in milking that. It, the milk would have been good um, if Habib got taken out faster, but there was really no way to consistently do that. So, because the Uber got forced from Mercy so early on, that's going to fill that initial push. But what we see for this post, um, looks like our players came in through Tunnel, which allowed us to get four picks onto their entire flank. So, now we should be seeing some, play, some players from the offense botting in. Boar's going to get taken out, which is good, so that means now everyone can go into hill for absolutely free. And with four down, you should be seeing just a ton of aggression. Guns got to go down, so this is the push we should have seen on the first half from KD, where they, they would just dry push it, and they just lock everything off. So that's exactly what happened. They didn't have Uber, so you know they couldn't use, but even if they had, we, there was no reason to use it, because they were four down, we got the gun, and now we're just able to keep this Uber. So... It's even, so again, because of how long this car push is, you have time to do about one sec. So whether we do it or not is um, beyond me. Jacob's gonna, get, your spy's gonna get taken down, which kind of, like, ruins, it's not, it doesn't really ruin, but it severely, like, lowers the chances of a sack being able to be successful, because it's because of how, like, good this gun is. Whenever you play a sack, this gun's gonna deny him every single time. So that's gonna, that's gonna delay a sack. So the best thing you can do is if you if you if you guys can't do a sack, then doing some sort of spam play, um, or just trying to like help your car pushers is the best thing you can do. And it looks like we take an exchange here, and the exchange might not have been bad, but I died. I think I got dropped before we Ubered, and that was a that that's a really big issue um, there. Some of the of uh, like uh, some of the other me. Other instances in which I got dropped in an Uber were kind of negligible, but me getting dropped in that Uber right there was kind of was really fatal because you really need kind of need your demo to be here for, for the, both during the Uber and for the post because I would have gotten the gun. Um, what did come out out of it though is that Sky did die, which means we their their positioning was severely passive and we're able to get it up the second hill. But even with Sky being dead, we're really we're kind of too passive at this point from your offense. If their bed's dead, you want your your Offense combo would be playing up on this on this little placard or on the little balcony, and that's not super, that's not what's happening. The bomb from Eddie's gonna come in now. Um, I'd like to see that bomb a bit earlier so that uh, the easing pressure off the combo. 
as you see, five players of us just got taken down, and the biggest reason why that push failed, that, that push looked like it was in the bag for absolutely free. The biggest reason why that push failed is we were too passive. Their meta was dead, and we we knew that they were passive, but we just decided to back up and go to the cart instead of playing off the top of the balcony like they did. And playing on top of the play, forward holding your combo here is really good because you can deny their co their players from peeking this choke at all. So that's a, that's the biggest issue with this, with this offense, and that's what that's what ultimately lost us um, this this round in this game, because if I, there's no real reason to theory craft, but there would have been a higher chance of us capping last if we were able to get third faster. So at this point, we're all just kind of psyching for the point one by one. Um, this is kind of just desperation at this point. We really shouldn't be going for this desperation plays because if you see, uh, like, Scratchy went down alone, Jacob went down alone, Bobby went down alone. This, this, they would have been able to get this cap if, our, if we had four players just bought in at once. And it, it, you see, we're still, we have, we're actually baiting a bit. Um, we get fours because, yeah, Habib going to be able to spam from, from Bucket. And now this is just really bad because our, our Uber got nothing. And our pick classes got the picks, but you can't rely, during an Uber, it shouldn't be your pick classes that are getting picks, it should be like your combo. So, they're four down, we should be able to at least touch the cap, and we, we're gonna, we should get get this cap, I think, but... As you can see by, like, all the, the on the scoreboard on the left side, it's are just completely scattered right now, and it's all chaos. So the biggest issue with third, I think there was, a, there was like, two and a half or three and, like, a quarter minutes on the clock when we started this. Like, when we first started the cart right here, it was about three minutes left, and it went all the way down to four, four, 40 seconds, which means that they got an, an extra two minutes or, 100, like, 100, like, 30 seconds just because that we were scattered. And that was that issue right there. An extra 130 seconds would have done wonders for a last push. And unless, unless with this momentum, as you can see, they're they're already two down. We can take be taking under. There's no traps. We already have two players on under. Um, Space is really gonna go down there. I'm gonna die to Bourne. At this point, it's just dead time. It's impossible to win at this point. Um, but I can't stress enough how important it is to just make sure that all your players regroup. If a cart gets that close on at any point, if a if a cart is close on any point on the map of any payload map. You need to have your, whatever your main color is, needs to make sure that all the players regroup. Because if not, then everyone's going to go into this desperation mode because the point is so close in their grasp. Um, and you need your main color to be able to wrangle those players. Because if not, um, they're going to they're gonna just feed one by one. And just because we fed one by one, we had no one really wrangling. They were able to gain an extra 130 seconds, which would have, it wouldn't have gotten us around. Um, you can't really theorycraft on that, but would have done wonders Um like it, an extra 130 seconds is and you can, anything can happen at that point. So that was upward, and I'm doing pretty good on time. So I'm actually gonna finish off this grand finals. Um, we're gonna look at Cascade. So the only pre 